Hi, I'm Henry Matus. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my Fender Jaguar. Now, these guitars were introduced in 1962 until 1975 when they stopped making them. Then they brought them back in the 80s. This one is from the 1990s. You got your single uh, coil neck pickup. Bridge pickup is a humbucker. Got your switching system. Uh, got these also. Pretty cool design. It's a pre pretty cool design on these. Um, the neck is a 24 inch scale neck. The body is ash or alder on these guitars with a maple neck. This has a pow ferro fretboard, not the rosewood. And it's got the tremolo too. So that's kind of neat. Uh, some people really like to use that. I, I really don't do a whole lot of that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hi, this is my Fender Jazzmaster. The Jazzmasters were introduced in 1958. This is not a vintage Jazzmaster. They looked different. The pickups were different back then. This is a reissue. Um, this one's from the, probably two, 2015, and uh, it's got two humbuckers. Okay, uh, so it's not a classic jazz master. It's a reissue. I like it. I don't play jazz. They were designed to play jazz at first. Uh, this one really is not designed to play jazz. It's just a cool Fender guitar. It's Capri Orange. Has the tremolo. The body should be made of ash or alder. And then the neck would be maple. And we have our this is a pow ferro fretboard, not a rosewood. And you've got your position switch. And very cool, Capri Orange guitar. It's pretty nice. It's comfortable to play. The neck is a 25.5 scale, like a Stratocaster and a Telecaster. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Henry. This is my Fender Jagstang. This guitar was designed or invented by Kurt Cobain from the band Nirvana. Everybody knows that. In 1994. Um, came in a couple different colors. Came, I think, in a Daphne Blue. And then this is called Fiesta Red. Um, basically, it's called a Jagstang because it's Kurt Cobain's idea to take a Fender Jaguar and a Fender Mustang, cut them in half, and put them together. Um, and kind of that's what it is. You've got a single coil pickup for the neck, humbucker for the bridge. You've got your, uh, we've got our little um, tremolo. Okay, um, very popular guitar because it was designed by Kurt Cobain and he had a lot of fans. And it is actually a cool guitar. It's a 24 inch scale neck. This one has a rosewood fretboard with the maple neck. The body was made of ash or alder, um, and this is a uh, this is it. I think I've covered everything on this guitar. Hi, I'm Henry. Welcome back to my channel. This is my Fender Duo Sonic guitar. The Duo Sonic guitar was introduced in 1956, and they made them until 1959. This is not a vintage Duo Sonic. This is a reissue when they came back out in 2016. It has a 24 inch scale neck. This is called a Sonic Blue. It just has two single coil pickups. It's very similar to a Fender Mustang. Um, I don't know, I just, I collect guitars. I like guitars, so anytime Fender makes something different or reissue something, I tend to go for it. It's a bad habit. Um, the body should be uh, ash or alder, like almost every Fender. <clears throat> Bolt-on neck. We have a maple neck with a pow ferro fretboard. There was a problem getting rosewood um, somewhere in the late 2000s or, or between 2015 and 2020. I don't know. There was some issue with the illegal rosewood being brought in, and I think the FBI confiscated. And I also heard that water, there was water damage in one of the factories, and I don't know about that. But 
it doesn't matter. This is a Fender uh, Duo Sonic, and uh, like I said, fun guitar. Uh, that little theme I was playing was the uh, Jeopardy music. Why did I play that? Well, I, in one of my previous videos, I said that I don't own too many things that belong to somebody famous. I had that guitar strap that belonged to Del Shannon. Well, today I have another thing that used to belong to someone very, very, very famous. He wasn't a guitar player, but he wrote some jingles and he used to write songs and he was a singer way back in the day, Merv Griffin. And uh, this used to belong to him, this clock right there. Um, I met Merv, I didn't know him very well. Um, I have a friend who knew him very, very well and he gave her that clock. She gave the clock to me. But I knew his son Tony, Tony Griffin. We, we were pretty good friends for quite a while uh, back in the day, you know, back in the 90s. Um, he, from what I understand, he lives in Malibu now. He's uh, married with kids. And I, I met his daughter and I met his wife. And he's a great person. Um, Merv passed away, sadly. But I do have his, one of his uh, belongings there. And I'm really proud of that. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Hi, I'm Henry. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my Fender Lead 3. Um, from what I understand, they only made these guitars for about a year in 1982. This is not from 1982. So they made the Fender Lead 1 and the Fender Lead 2 for several years. And then this was the Fender Lead 3, which they brought out in 1982. Um, they reissued them in 2020, and uh, that's what this one is. Um, this one's from 2020. Um, why do I have this? Well, it's uh, called Metallic Purple. Very cool color. And Steve Morse was initially endorsing these guitars at uh, the NAMM show. Steve Morse from the Dixie Dregs uh, also then plays for Deep Purple now. Uh, one of the world's greatest guitars. So if it's good enough for Steve Morse, hell, it's probably way too good for me. But I love the color, so I bought it. And um, what do we got? We got um, humbuckers. Uh, the body will be um, ash or alder. Seems like all of their guitars are made of that. We have a maple neck. This one has a pow ferro fretboard, not a rosewood. There's uh, no whammy bar or a tremolo, as you would say. But it is a cool guitar. It's really comfortable. It's easy. It's light. It's easy to play on stage. It's got a 25.5. Uh, radius neck, I mean a 25.5 scale neck like a uh, Stratocaster or a uh, Telecaster. And um, there you have it, a Fender Lead 3. <laughs> Hi, I'm Henry Matus. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my Paul Reed Smith guitar. I only own one. This is an SE Custom. Uh, not an SE Standard. The SE Standards are solid bodies. This has the one F hole. It's not hollowed out. I guess it might, you might say it's a semi-hollow, I guess. Uh, but anyway, SE Custom. The color is Santana Yellow. We got two humbuckers here. Uh, really cool guitar. It's got the whammy bar or the uh, tremolo. <laughs> So that's kind of the fun little thing with the whammy, but I don't really use this a lot. Um, um, set neck, so uh, it's not a bolt-on. Don't take it off, you'll break the guitar. Um, I'm definitely going to get some more of these Paul Reed Smiths. They make really good guitars. Um, let's see, what, what do I know about the company? I guess they were founded. Paul Reed Smith is actually the guy that founded the company in 1985, and he's a very smart guy. He contacted the, a guy that was the president, used to be the president of Gibson Guitars. His name is Ted McCarty. And he contacted Ted McCarty, and uh, Ted McCarty helped him out get his business started, his guitar business. Now, uh, Ted McCarty invented the Gibson 335 and the Explorer as well. And, and um, the vice president of Gibson at that time, John Hewis, invented the Les Paul when they got Les Paul to endorse the guitar. I've explained that in one of my previous videos. But anyway, Paul Reed Smith, really nice guitar. Uh, Santana Yellow is the name of it. And um, I really dig it. It's light. It's easy to play. 
these inlays, they're birds. So we got different birds. We got there's a hummingbird, there's a falcon. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Stick Dog Hank.